How's it going guys? Eric here from Techisode TV and in today's Techisode, I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest way to transfer all of your photos, music, apps, messages, and much more from your old iPhone or Android phone to your new Galaxy S6, Galaxy Note 4, or other Samsung smartphone. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at switching from an Android phone. I'll be demonstrating this going from a Galaxy S6 to a Galaxy Note 4, but the process will be similar regardless of which phone you're switching from. The only thing you need is an app called Smart Switch. Just download it on both devices right from the Google Play Store. Since these are both Android devices, you just open the Smart Switch app on both devices, select Android device, then tap Start. Now tap Sending Device on your old smartphone and Receiving Device on your new Samsung smartphone. After that, tap Connect. Once the device is connected, you'll be met with a large checklist of things that you can send to the new device. Just select the things you want to transfer, then tap Send. That's it. Now, just wait for the transfer to finish, and you'll have successfully transferred literally everything from your old Android device to your new one. The only catch is that not all of the apps will install automatically. Instead, you may just get an app list with shortcuts to quickly install the apps from the other device. To get to this list, just open the Smart Switch app, tap More, then tap Apps from Other Device. Switching from an iPhone is even easier. All you have to do is know your iCloud account login, or have both a lightning cable and a USB on-the-go cable. There's a link in the description for an inexpensive on-the-go cable if you don't already have one. If you use iCloud, all you need to do is open the Smart Switch app on the Samsung device, select iOS device, tap Start, tap Import from Cloud, then just enter your login information. After that, you'll be able to download everything you have saved on your iCloud account directly to your Samsung smartphone. Just make sure you freshly backed up your iPhone on the iCloud before doing this or you might miss some pictures or messages. If you'd prefer to connect directly, just open the Smart Switch app on the Samsung smartphone, select iOS device, tap Start, then tap Import from iOS device. Now just plug your iPhone directly into your Samsung phone using the lightning cable and the USB on the go cable. You'll be prompted to select an app to access the iPhone files with. Select the Smart Switch app. The iPhone will then get a pop-up asking for permission to connect to the Samsung device. Tap OK on the iPhone, then tap Next on the Samsung phone. At that point, the Samsung phone will start searching through all the files on the iPhone to determine what can be transferred. Depending on how much data you have stored on your iPhone, this could take up to 15 minutes. Once it finishes scanning the iPhone, you'll be presented with a list of files you can copy. That list will include contacts, calendar events, memos, a list of all the apps you had installed on your iPhone, your call logs, website bookmarks, alarms, all your Wi-Fi network logins, your messages, pictures, music, videos, and any other documents you have saved to your old iPhone. Just check off the things you want to transfer, then tap Import. That's it. Once the import finishes, you'll have everything from your iPhone ported over to your Samsung phone with the exception of apps. You'll have to reinstall those manually from the app list that gets created. So there you have it, the fastest way to transfer anything from your old iPhone or Android phone to your new Samsung smartphone. If you guys thought this video was helpful, let me know by leaving it a like. And if you want to help this channel grow, like the Techisode TV Facebook page and share this video on social networks. Lastly, if you guys missed my 100 reasons why the Galaxy S6 is awesome video, you can check that out by clicking the banner that's sliding out above me or by clicking the link in the description. That's it for this Techisode. I'll see you guys in the next one.